Good morning, good morning, good morning. I need to start this video by apologizing because the vibes in here are not the, the relaxed zen vibes that I would have liked there to be really. It is just a bit messy and it's because the shroom isn't finished so there's no point me tidying up in here when I'm gonna move everything in there anyway. And every week I think it's gonna be finished and we're gonna figure out this fabric thing that's going on in the dressing room. And every week I'm like, okay, there's another week of here looking like a mess. So I guess we're just rolling with it. So sorry if it's like ruining your vibes, you know? I'm just getting ready for the day. I have a little photo shoot with Farron Ball for the patio. Sorry, the sun keeps coming in and out. We are getting, oh. I'm gonna call. Sorry, that was just a phone call. Organizing a few things for next week, which is my friend's wedding. God, it's weird having like no lips when I haven't over overlined my lips. I have my friend's wedding in France next week and you know some weddings you go to and you don't really know anyone. This wedding is literally all my closest friends in one place in France, in my favorite place. So it's gonna be the absolute best time. I'm so over the moon about it. Jack, Guy and I are staying in a hotel and I don't think that many other people are staying in our hotel. So it's gonna be like our own little camp and everyone is kind of staying in like a different hotel. There's not like one main wedding hotel. The only thing is, is that I leave next week and I haven't sorted out my outfits yet. In any other scenario, I would have had them all ready to rumble. But because my style has changed so much over the past like year, I always say year funny. I I say ya, ya, but people always make fun of it on YouTube, so I try and say it with like a less English accent. Yeah, year, year, over the past year, <laughs> over the past year, over the past year, I do say over the past year. <laughs> Y'all. My style has changed so much. I kind of address this in my last video that I just don't really like any of my old clothes and I just don't feel like me in them anymore. So I need to kind of go and get some new things. And I was thinking something vintage. There's like a white night. Oh, I also need to get some of my clothes altered for the wedding. So I'm going to go to one of my favorite vintage stores. Well, it's actually like a pre love store in Chelsea. And then I think I might just have like a mooch around Chelsea and see if there are any sale things or. I know, just secondhand shopping vibes, you know? That's kind of the only time I really go to like actual stores. The rest of the time I shop online. It's really, really hot in London at the moment. You can feel like the sun coming in and out. So I have put on waterproof mascara. I have to say this palette, if you buy one palette this summer, it has to be this one. This is the By Terry powder palette. It's four different powders. So you can use it to bronze, to highlight, to set everything. The Hyaluronic Hydra powder palette i use medium to warm it is the best palette ever like even i even use it as like an inner corner highlight and stuff it's literally just so good at mattifying like under the eyes setting your concealer and then i use that as a bronzer or a contour like it is just oh if you buy one palette it really needs to be this i'm big into my mattes at the moment i love that noise going out into heaven this is heaven this is my heaven oh i need a gardener to come so badly i had sophie come and install everything but now i kind of need a like regular maintenance gardener so if anyone knows anyone please let me know this cushion has arrived my new matching cushion oh i like how they did the contrast piping on there that's cool this is the warner house fabric this is the holcomb and it is honestly the best emerald fabric outdoor fabric that's also really affordable and weatherproof let's see what that oh that looks so good let's have it no let's have it that way oh that looks so cute Theo, what do you think what do you think are you gonna pee all over the cushion no hi my babies Tuki, how's it going how's it going bubs oh do you Oh, <sighs> this is the vibe. I have to say I've had the dogs here for a couple days now since I last went away and Duke is barely coughing. Like he's coughing a bit, probably like four times a day, but when it was really bad, he was probably coughing like four times a hunt in half an hour. So I'm so happy because that means I can keep him here. So I'm a bit concerned about that when they come to finish this room because that means all the dust is gonna like come back until then i'll just enjoy him being here 
Guys, this is a huge vibe, isn't it? I feel so zen out here. It's really nice. Look at my, oh my gosh, not to be that girl, but look at these hydrangeas. Like, aren't they stunning? Okay, these are dying. Does anyone know what I do with these? Like, I know nothing, 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 nothing about gardening and having green fingers and anything, but you bet your ass that I put a mirror in my <laughs> courtyard so that I could show you my outfit of the day. <laughs> because that's what kind of girl I am. This is the most incredible dress, by the way. This is a little maxi dress. I'm gonna link it down below. It's cut out. It's kind of like a Christopher Esber one, but kind of more affordable. And it's like full maxi. I'm gonna try and maybe show you standing on here. Oh yeah, there we go. That is an outfit of the day and a half. Excuse me, excuse me. I know. What do you think of my dress? I love it. I literally just got it. This is the first time I'm wearing it. Guys, I'm going to link this dress down below because I think this is one of my most favorite summer dresses that I've bought this year. It's just like really comfortable. It almost feels like pajamas. You can wear your usual underwear with it. It like isn't one of those dresses where you can't see your underwear if you know what I mean. You can see your underwear if you know what I mean. I like the cutouts because I feel like it's not too cut out. A lot of the Christopher Esber stuff I love and that's really like the cut out outfit goals for me but it just shows too much or the cult guy like the cult guys go all the way down there and i just i don't like a lot of my hips and tummy on show you know just a little a little sneak peek you can't tell my abs if i do if i don't you know you can't tell what's going on but you can see that it's a cut out but also put what size i got in the information box as well everything i always mention is in the little info box what i'm about to show you is really the epitome of new me <laughs> this is the first piece of clothing i've ever got that pia said she's jealous of and she wants to buy and that's when i'm like oh my god am i am i cool <laughs> is this what makes me cool now that like pia's jealous of my clothes like normally pia's like yeah that's nice on you like i like that i don't like that she's like i need those pants now i need to get them altered i'm five one so me and em always comes up a bit long on me and this is the perfect top to pair with. I think I might actually wear it with the white one. This is from Zara. I'll leave the code down below because it is the best ever. So these are the wide leg blue pinstripe boyfriend pants from me and M. Look at the side. Like they are just so incredible. I'm gonna go and literally get them altered right now because ah! They just look so good. They make my legs look like really long and they're really, really comfortable. Like so comfortable. I'll put my size on the screen here. I can't remember if I got a four or if I got a six, but I just literally think these are one of the best pants I've ever, ever, ever tried on. When I'm looking at wide leg pants now, I always look for ones with pleats at the front because I think that's what really helps elongate your legs. Let me show you this pink baby. Can you hear Pia talking to herself in my bedroom, by the way? UK, hun! <laughs> just laughing at you having a monologue. Oh. <laughs> having a full on, so low monologue. Wait, you <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I wasn't totally filming it, but I wasn't not filming it. You were kind of in the background. Back to this. How incredibly made this is, and the fit, and the style, and the pleats. Like, this is a triple pleat leg. Kind of looks like a skirt, you know? It's one of those where you're like, whoa, it's pants. Oh, it's just stunning. Like, the color is dead on. I literally saw this on the website, and I was like, I think this is the most beautiful jumpsuit I've ever seen in my life. I hope they bring it in other colors or in black. Like, if enough of us buy it, hopefully me and Em will see it as like, best selling product and then do it in other colors. I'm gonna link this down below. I got the smallest size and I'm going to go and literally right now go to my tailor down the bottom of my road and alter the legs because I need to wear this literally this weekend. I think I'm gonna wear this this weekend and also pack it for my trip because it is just one of the best things I think I've worn this entire year. Like, you know, at the end of the year when you think about your favorite outfits, well, I don't know if you do, but I do. This is gonna be one of them, I'm telling you. What's that? A twig, a twig. <laughs> yeah, is it a twig? I love his little growls. Give me that, I want it. I want that twig. Arr, arr. Leave. Good boy, ready? Steady, ready? Oh, do you love twigs? Do you love twigs? Oh, no. <laughs> Didn't even throw it, mate. Go. <laughs> ah, guys, so I'm having a little situ in the park post Taylor. I took the dogs to the Taylor. We were there for like, I don't know hour maybe doing all my clothes for summer and they just sat there like two little babies so I was like okay I will take you to the garden square except I've lost Duke. 
he always goes off to find food. He goes and he goes around and like goes to all these bins and like finds food. He's so disgusting, honestly. <laughs> it's so weird. I don't know if any mums, pet or real mums, feel like this. It's so crazy how you can have two dogs or like siblings basically, but with totally different personalities like Leo and Duke are such different dogs. Leo is like really needy, always wants to be next to you, sleeps literally like on your head. Duke's like much more independent, only wants to like cuddle like on his terms. Duke is obsessed with food, will literally like s scream when I'm getting his breakfast ready. Leo's like, yeah, whatever, don't care. Leo's so calm all the time. And then if we go to the park, he's hyper. Duke's hyper most of the time. And we go to the park, he's like, la 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 la, I'm going for a walk, I'm going to... Like, they're total opposites. Although, right now, where the hell is the dog? Where's Dukey? Can you go find him, please? I'm wearing my, like, full-on mum dog gear now. Like, this is what I do in the park. I, like, have my dog lead, like, around my le neck, like a proper dog mum. I've got my, like, grossy, like, t-shirt, old t -shirt, tanning t-shirt on. My real, like, jeans jeans, you know? The ones that aren't even jeans and then, like, proper trainers, even though we're not even going for a proper walk. Just stuck in the square. Come on, little love muffin. Good boy. Good boy. Ah, there he is. This is what I mean. Like, Duke is so independent. Leo won't not have it one eye on me. Whereas Duke's there, like, oh, hiya, guys. Then Leo runs to him, like, I haven't seen you in ages. Oh my god. Where the hell have you been, mate? Not like we were worried about you or anything. Hanging out in the sprinkler. Was it nice? Do you have a nice little bath? Oh, great. I can't wait to put you in my car and on my carpet. Oh, wonderful. Do you excite whatever, mate? I'm enjoying life. Come on, let's walk and talk, people. Yalla! He actually responds to Yalla, which is so funny. <laughs> I think he spent too much time with my mum. Duke! What have you been doing, you lunatic? <laughs> Leo. Leo goes to smell him. Right, guys, it is time now to go home because you have wasted a lot of time hanging out. I don't have a treat for you, but I can find one. Outfit of the day, ready to go shopping. I have done my hair up because I need to actually wash it today. Got my big Celine sunglasses on. These are the best sunglasses in the world. I'm gonna link them down below because if you feel gross as a person and you put these on, you feel like a celeb and you're like, I don't need to look good because these sunglasses hide everything. <laughs> amazing. I've got this little reformation top on which isn't very me these days but like how many days can I just wear a t-shirt and jeans I don't I don't know so I feel like I kind of masking ended up with um, my Hermes bag and then I'm also wearing well I have my Nike Jordans downstairs but I'm also wearing these seven jeans which are like a straight leg jeans and they're kind of light so I feel like I like the contrast of like the neutrals and the black. Let's go and see what we can find. I'm hoping for some good. You know what I would love? I'm just gonna manifest this right now. I would love some Missoni, a little Missoni vibe. <sighs> That'd be nice. My first stop is Bagista, which I've been to before and I always check online. They have an online store and they have a store in Chelsea. A store, a store, a store. I love, love buying secondhand bags, like pre-loved bags. I feel like you can get some amazing deals. Some of my most favorite Chanel's were actually um, pre-loved and the Chanel I got from Bagista, I think it was like maybe three years ago now, it was a jumbo. Yeah, it was three years ago this summer. It was a jumbo maxi, my cream one it's like the best quality it's so good they quality control all their bags they check everything so I'm excited to go in there because I just kind of want to see their new store on the way and then I'm gonna go to my favorite pre-love store which is called sign of the times I went in there a couple weeks ago I think I vlogged when I went in a couple weeks ago and I saw these amazing Chanel jackets and I kind of was just like a bit shopping aimlessly but now I'm gonna go and just like do a proper rummage and actually like try on things. I, last time I can't even remember what I was looking for, but I'm kind of hoping they have some Missoni pieces. That's what I just manifested. I feel like Missoni is the kind of thing where like it's really great to buy pre-loved because it's a kind of throw on thing, but it's nice to have it as like a nice designer piece with a print. I don't know. Anyway, I also really need to go this week and get 
my Botox done, can you see my forehead? And I was kind of wondering actually, like I started getting Botox because I had this dent in my forehead. I don't know if I, I feel like I've talked about it before. And now the dent, is st it's still like, I still have a like wrinkle here, but it's not a dent. Like before it was a dent in my forehead, I'll put in a picture now. And now it's kind of a wrinkle and I'm like, maybe I don't need to get Botox in my forehead anymore. Like because basically I started off just getting it here and then that would move because this wasn't moving. So I ended up having to get it everywhere. Now, now it's kind of gone. Well, it is gone. I feel like maybe I don't really need it in my forehead anymore. Like maybe it's better to not do it. Because does that happen to anyone? Because that has happened to me and it's kind of gone. And like, I love that it's gone now. I'm like, oh, cool. I don't need to like rush back to get Botox. That's kind of nice. By the way, have you guys heard of this thing? speaking of like Botox and treatments and stuff called etching. Sketching or etching? I don't know. My friend told me about it yesterday because I basically was saying how like people, how do people have abs like all the time? Like all these like famous people you see that will just like always have abs. Like I don't understand that they're just there doing crunches every day of their life. Like I do not comprehend the situation. Anyway, she was like, they have this thing called etching where you go into the muscle, like it's under general anesthetic, and they shave your muscle so it like always looked like you have abs. So no matter what you're doing or eating or anything, your muscle is shaped like you've done a hundred million crunches every day for the, your past like a hundred years. I'm sorry, but it makes so much sense. Like, I didn't know this existed. Like Kylie Jenner posts all the time eating like fried food and blah, blah, and everyone's like, everyone knows like abs are made in the kitchen, okay? And so if you're someone like me that eats fries and carbs and stuff, like most of the time, then apart from like the one healthy meal I just had like all week. But anyway, apart from that, if you're someone like me that eats a lot of carbs, like you know that like abs are pretty much an impossible game unless you're genetically blessed because abs are made in the kitchen. So how are all these people posting all these like fried foods all the time but still have abs? They're fake. The abs are fake. Why didn't that occur to me? I'm so mad at myself for not realizing. I just didn't even know that you could etch abs onto yourself under general anesthetic. Like what? is happening. Je suis très confused and now I'm actually really happy because now I'm like, oh, I feel less crap about myself now knowing that people have fake abs. Like, that makes so much sense. People have fake abs. You can literally buy anything these days. So this is where we're going. It's literally like 20, eight degrees but gray and a bit grim today a bit windy and right next to harrods is baggy so which is right here yay oh my gosh this looks incredible this is a new store oh wow oh my gosh look at the trunks oh my gosh i am buzzing about this get me inside oh Oh my gosh, it's like arranged like a store. This store is my actual heaven. As soon as you walk in, it's like every bag you could ever want and dream of. Oh my gosh, look at this. Wow, this is literally so beautiful, the gold hardware. Let's see what else we've got going on down here. You know, I've never gone for this bag and every time I see it, I just stare at it and stare at it and like wonder what else is going on. Oh my gosh, so you can literally like go up and down. I could be in here for days, days on end. Wow, look at that blue, Kelly. Oh, and the little Chanel up there. I feel like what I love about Bagista is coming in here and it feeling like, feels like I'm in Harrods, like it feels like it's a store store. And it's so different than shopping online. I prefer shopping in person for bags. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I've never seen this color before. That's the other thing is that the quality is amazing. Like everything is quality controlled, so you really like know what you're getting. I'm obsessed with this bag. I'm literally raiding through the Baggista Hermes stock. Let's see more. This is so fun. You unbox them so beautifully and carefully. I feel like I need to take note of how you, how you handle the bags. Oh my goodness. What's this? Oh my gosh. Stop. Oh, that's amazing. Dun, dun, dun. I just saw a hint of that. <gasps> no. That is the best thing I've ever seen in my whole life. 
That is a work of art. It's not coming up on the camera what it actually looks like in real life, but it's amazing. Oh, wow. Wait, I need to show this in the light. You guys are gonna die for this. Look at that. Oh my gosh. You can literally find everything in here. The sold out Chanel heart. I haven't even seen this in real life. Like, look at this color. This is so cute. Obviously, I go to the color one first. Let's try this on. What do you guys think? The little Chanel heart bag. Oh, it's just so sweet. I love the little thinner chain as well. I feel like this is the most hyped up bag right now. Like more than even a mini Kelly. These are going for like double. And this is the bigger size in black, which I actually prefer. I thought I'd prefer the mini, but actually this is still quite small. It looks so good. I have to say Bagista is one of my absolute favorite, favorite places to go. Where did I park my car? Here it is. Bagista is one of my favorite places to go. It is one of the oldest luxury consignment stores in London. And it's great because it's bag focused. So you don't get distracted with other things. They just have such amazing stock, like seriously stunning. Like bags that you literally can't even see anywhere in real life right now. So it's really cool to be able to, to go in and try them on. I have a couple of things on hold. Really, really like. Let's do this thing. Sign of the times. One of my favorite, favorite places. I've been coming here since I was literally 16. I've already got Emily on holding duty. Ah, oh, wow. Found a Missoni. I literally said, I need to see if they have any Missoni. Oh, look at this. That cute little jacket. Oh, that's a nice Burberry. Oh, look at that little dress. That's so pretty. Do I need this YSL jumper? Or does it not look YSL? But I think it's like really cozy and just quite cool actually. Like great for travel. Okay, this is outfit number one that I've tried on. I manifested the Sony, but I don't think this dress does anything for me. What do we think? It's also a bit long and I would need to alter like the best part. I love the pattern. I just don't, I think it makes me look wide here and short, small here and I love the chain though. I'm very torn about this, but actually looking in the viewfinder, I'm like, mm -mm. what do we think about this poochie? I love it. I would definitely, definitely need to alter it to about there. <laughs> you know me, like I love things short and sweet, but I think it's a vibe. Like I love a square neck too. So like this is a really good, good vibe. This dress, I wish I was this person, but I'm not. You know what I mean? Like, I wish I was this person that could just like have their boobs without a bra at dinner, but like, I just can't. But this dress is amazing. Like, I'm obsessed with it, but I'm just not, just not this gal. You know what I'm saying? Trying on a little Missoni top. So much Missoni here. My manifesting worked. Love that for me. What do we think of this little blazer vest? I'm not wearing anything underneath, so but you can kind of imagine the vibes. I think it's so cool. The color is insane. So the store is on two floors and everything is like laid out so gorgeously so you can just shop your heart away, your heart and soul. And then this is upstairs. It's literally my favorite little heaven. You can really be in here for hours rummaging. Oh, that's the dress I tried on last time. They also have some amazing bags. Look at this Chanel and this little wallet on chain. This little Louis Vuitton, I'm like spying. Oh, that was one of my favorite Chanel's back in the day. Thank you so much, yay! Little car haul. You may be able to guess based on my reaction what I got, but I literally did so well in Sign of the Times. I'm so, so, so happy with myself because I got two amazing summer dresses. Not one, but two. Both of these are 230 pounds. So considering this poochie dress probably retails for close to a thousand pounds, like I think that's incredible. So this is the little the little poochie number, and this is the Adriana Degradas dress that is just like an easy breezy throw on dress. I love the color on me as well, and I just love stripes. I think it's like perfect. So I'm so happy with those. That is literally amazing. I do have to alter um, both of them, but I have to alter my clothes normally anyway, so. It doesn't really bother me or like deter me from the dresses. Like I, I mostly alter most of my clothes to be honest. So that's good. I'm really happy with that because that was literally exactly what I needed. I feel like all the summer clothes I have right now are really tight around my tummy and like that don't make me feel good. You know what I'm saying? So no merci. Thank you so much Mr. Man and Ferrari for letting me pass. Shout out to you. Oh, it's a woman. Wow, the lips on her, my goodness. Okay. Anyway, I will 
see you back at home. Ready to start packing. Hi, the bubs. Where's Leo, bubs? Where's Leo? Are you excited to see me? Yes. Calm yourself like his little tail. Yes, you're super excited. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I got my baby. I love you. You smell so good. You smell amazing. It's been a long day, huh? Oh, I could just eat you forever. Guys, I'm drinking this incredible favorite thing that I saw on Anastasia's TikTok. I'm gonna link her TikTok down below. It's like my favorite TikTok. I saw it on like a TikTok she did like a year ago and I ordered them on a cardo. They're so good. Sorry about my bra strap. I've changed so many times. <laughs> my bra is like falling out. And if you're trying to get hit your protein targets this is great because it has 20 grams of protein in this <coughs> <coughs> moving on it is great oh you know you quickly need to swallow again because your swallowing needs to go down the right hole not the wrong hole it's like cacao hazelnuts all sorts of like chocolate milk do you stop licking your brother's ass? Oh, can I just say I love having my hair tied back because I have so many piercings and I just think everything looks so good with loads of piercings on. I'm wearing our uh, marigold hoops and then I've got loads of Amel huggies on as well, which are my favorites. This stud is the best stud. I went from wearing Freya here to wearing Bibby. I just think Bibby looks so good there because she's a little bit bigger. What do I have on here? I have Amel's with marigold. It's summertime and I have summer colors in my ears. Leo, stop eating that. Gross. Guys, watching two dogs is literally a full-time job. I can't not keep my eye on either of them. Anyway, I hope you're having a wonderful week so far. I will see you on my Instagram for travels and I'll do like a pack with me in next week's vlog so you can see like everything I'm bringing with me, how I packed, all my different outfits. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week and I will see you next week with another vlog. Mwah. Bye guys.